This is subtract the product and sum of digits of an integer. So given an integer number, return the difference between the product of its digits and the sum of its digits. So for example, given the integer 234, the output is 15 because you take the 2, you multiply it by the 3, you multiply it by the 4, and the digits 2 plus 3 plus 4, and then the result is the product of all the digits minus the sum of all the, the digits, and you get 15. <clears throat> okay, um, so we are going to be returning an int, and that int is going to be, well, let's see, first we're going to have to keep track of a sum. So that sum will start as 0. And then we're going to keep track of a product. And the product is going to be 1, um, just because it'll be if we use the uh, zero, it'll be multiplied by zero, and that won't be good. Um, and then we're going to start, I'm just going to call this current value, we're going to set it to n. <clears throat> and eventually what we're going to be doing is returning <clears throat> the uh, product minus the sum. Um, so I'm going to take this current number and um, take a digit off of the end of the number. I'm going to add it to our running sum and multiply it by our running product. Um, then we are going to <clears throat> take cur and remove that number. So um, while this number is bigger than zero, we are going to be in this loop. So we're going to keep removing numbers until it is zero, and then it's going to break. Okay. Um, so let's take the first number. So I'm going to just say this current number. It's going to. I'm just going to call it now. It's going to be um, the remainder uh, if you divide by ten, um, and then we'll take the sum and we're going to add it. We're going to add now, and we're going to take the product, and I'm going to multiply it by now, um, and then I'm going to take cur, and I'm going to shorten it a little bit <clears throat> by that one digit. And that should work, let's see. Um, and one thing that I like to do in order to debug is use the uh, standard output. So if we go in here, we can see uh, what occur with the modulo is right now, where's that? And then we can also go down here and we'll do a system output and we'll just do curve divided by 10. And this is an easy way so that you could see <clears throat> what's happening when the in that while loop.
<clears throat> so what happens is when you're in this while loop down here, um, um, integer now is full four, so you add four to the sum in the product, and then 23 is left, and then three is now, and you add three to the sum and multiply three by the sum, uh, and then two is left, and then two is the current number, and then you multiply that by the sum and the product, and then zero is what's left, and so that's what, while cur is bigger than zero, is not true anymore, so it breaks, and so you go here to return, and you have your product that you kept minus sum. So hopefully that should help um, explain that one, and you could take this n and turn it into a string and you wouldn't have to and you could just get each number like that but this is the more efficient way to do it um, and that's that thank you